What's up guys? In this video, let's unbox the new Motorola Moto G6 and check out the structural integrity and glass resistance of this metal and glass sandwich design. Last year's Moto G5 had the Snapdragon 430 processor with an aluminium and plastic build. So this year's Moto G6 is definitely a step up with the premium glass sandwich design, aluminium mid-frame and the Snapdragon 450 chipset. Maybe that's why it was the highest selling unlocked smartphone on Amazon. Since at this budget price point, Motorola has managed a premium looking phone with decent specs in the G6 with an attractive glass and metal combo. Weighing it at 167 grams, it neither feels light nor too heavy. Just the correct weight, which also generally means a good quality build. Hello. To know how good exactly, we'll find that out in the bend test. The 18 to 9 IPS display is 5.7 inches, so that should make single hand use a bit easier compared to 6 inch displays. Talking about its features, it has Dolby audio support and the usual moto gestures of double chop and twist to turn on the torch and camera. On the hardware front, Moto has given it an inside-out nano coating, which they claim makes it water resistant against light splashes or rain. But we'll be checking that out in a separate water test video. Now moving on to some camera and video samples. As you can see, the 12 plus 5 megapixel dual rear cameras does quite an excellent job in well lit conditions. The software processing behaves similar to an AI and can recognize landmarks and objects pretty well with punchy vibrant colors but at the same time not oversaturated. On initial impressions, the picture taken seems to produce excellent color reproduction, detail levels and dynamic range, pretty good for this price segment. Now starting with the scratch test, let's rub this basic Koning Ola glass production on both sides with common items found in pockets such as keys and coins and lastly with a heavy duty box cutter. A few faint but permanent scratches by either the keys or coins and nothing but the blades are quite commonly noticed on the most durable and high quality glasses after performing several tests on the channel. But in case of poor quality glass production found on phones like the Realme 1 or the Galaxy J6 which had failed the test. The blades also leave ugly scuff marks on the glass. So let's find out if this glass production has the required quality you're paying for and does it withstand the blades or not. The Moto G6 does pass the test easily with just a couple of light permanent marks on both sides due to the key. The blades were not able to leave any scuff marks due to the high quality of the glass, very unlike poor quality glasses used on some devices. Now moving on to the bend test, let's see how this good looking device with the metal and glass sandwich build is able to handle my bend force.
very unlike the Honor 9 Lite, which failed with similar dual-sided glass but with a plastic mid-frame. The Moto G6 with an aluminium mid-frame didn't manage to pass the bend test with flying colors. It suffered no damage whatsoever or any brakes near the power keys with hardly any flex to it. Stay tuned to catch more videos on latest devices. Thanks for watching. Keep the peace and catch you next time.